this is not an endorsement for the movie Yes Man with Jim Carrey, but I must tell you it's one of my all-time favorite movies. And the reason why I love this movie is uh, the story is just beautiful. It's a story about a man who because he has been hurt by the events of life, um, he started to say no to everything as it comes before. And it was just something comes up, no. Something, you know, invitation from a friend, no. Uh, let's go do something together, no. He, he, he began to say no to life as such. <clears throat> and then he was invited to to uh, participate in an event by a new age guru who promotes uh, saying yes to life, saying yes to the things that are presented to us. And uh, the ensuing uh, story that then happens is just really very funny, but in the same time it is also very serious because it, it simply reveals um, this contrast between saying yes and saying no to life. And um, especially what I find really worthwhile um, about this movie, I think that, which is, I think it's a really spiritual movie. It's truly very, very conscious. And uh, Jim Carrey seems to be doing more and more uh, of those kinds of movies. Um, and uh, by the way, Jim Carrey has become a meditator. I don't know if you knew this. So this movie is extremely uh, stimulating in the sense that it forces us to reflect um, about our decision-making processes. Why do we say no? Uh, and I feel it really uh, inspires us to take a good look at ourselves and ask ourselves, yeah, well, why am I saying no to this? Um, it makes the process of saying yes or no of this decision-making uh, process uh, very, very conscious, very, we become alert, I believe, uh, upon seeing this movie. And we ask ourselves the questions, well, why am I acting this way? Why am I such a no-head? Why am I rejecting this? Why am I rejecting that? And um, so from that angle, um, I really recommend this movie because it truly makes, makes us conscious. Um, and and it's these, these robot-like programs um, that cause us to say no to, to many things that we actually would benefit from if we would say yes to, if we only had the courage. But because we are so afraid at times that if we say yes, that we will be hurt. If we trust, we will sustain just another injury. And boy, I've had enough injuries in life already, so I'm just going to say no. And um, the, the character in the movie sometimes is called um, to realize and see that he says, truly he says no even before, before life completely presents uh, the situation in full before him. He already says no, he already says it's no. So the character is in his shell um, of no and crawls through life um, in this manner. So, um, and his life then becomes revolutionized um, by his newfound commitment to say yes to everything that comes before him. So, and of course, life is such that we can't really say yes to everything as uh, to the things that come before us, but you know, I'm sure we can say a lot more yes um, than we believe, and ending up profiting from the power of saying yes um, in the end. So watch the movie and reflect on the things that you're saying yes to or no to, especially the things you're saying no to. So and you will find great clarity, you'll find great insight and maybe liberation if you allow yourself to trust your inner yes more often than you do. This is Andreas Mamed from Paris and I love you. Bye bye.